हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते कसकाय केम छो गुटन टैग ओला बंजोर गिडे आई होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल पीपल आई एम सीइंग ऑन द चैट एंड आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड एज यू कैन सी माय बुक इज हियर एंड थैंक यू रोबर्टा एंड थैंक यू एवरीवन वन हुएवर हैव परचेज्ड माई बुक सो फार and i know it's not available on, on amazon.in but it is available on amazon.com and many other portals so this is my first book and i'm very excited about it there are 35 original mandalas and i can just give you a sneak peek of the first page of this book first mandala and there are many more inside you can see whoever is done working with this can share your work with me at any social media so here we are and this is the mandala which we are going to draw today it looks complicated or little intricate but believe me we all can draw it easily we'll draw step by step we'll draw slow and we can easily draw this one yesterday we made a very beautiful and very easy mandala it was nice and i want to give a huge shout out to everyone whoever have joined me yesterday in my hindi mandala session as well as submitted your work in facebook it was awesome beautiful all the supply list is already there in the video description i already tried to put all the supply list materials required in the session in the video description with their amazon links and at my website you can see amazon links of the india version and the us version also these are the little supplies which we need today in our art session a 6 inch square paper on which we are going to draw we need one ruler one marker pen we can use little different tip pens also if we have one pencil eraser pencil for the shading and the compass so these all these are the all supplies so paper size is 6 inch by 6 inch sweater and uh, i am using this artist style they are the pre cut 6 inch by 6 inch and this artist style is available on amazon us as well as in india if you want to see the india link you can see any hindi channel or as well you can see at my website no tortion is required i'm sorry thank you for reminding me and we need one tortion or something to blend with okay so Hey Valerie, how are you? Bonjour. You can use any brand pen, any gel pen, luxor pen, but the only thing is just take care that you don't smudge the ink because sometimes gel pen ink takes a little extra time to dry up. so when you are drawing just keep your hand away or give some time paper to you know the ink to seep in the paper and let it dry well so as you know we always start to finding the center of our paper namaste pranam namaskar yes arya shri so now i'm finding the center Hi Adya Hello Adya Desai So we are going to divide draw very light because eventually we need to erase whatever is not you know hiding beneath the pen they all are the guidelines so please draw light hi aparna hi dipit sharma hello 
Hallo Lila. So I divided my paper into four equal parts. I divided into four equal parts and now I'm dividing it into eight equal parts. If you have the protector and if you want to use it, you can use that for the division like you can use for measuring the degrees and then you can divide it. So that's how I divided my paper into eight equal parts and now we are going to give some measurements and measurements I'm giving as you can see on the screen So my measurements are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 and 6.5 centimeters. Paper size is 6 inch by 6 inch square. If you are using a big paper, you can draw a 6 inch square on your paper and divide the paper into 8 equal parts and now putting the measure. If anyone want to volunteer, write down in the chat again and although the all the sizes are there on the screen, I am putting mark at 1 cm, 2 cm, 3 cm, 5 cm, 6 and 6.5. And as you can see, I have already put all the marks. We are going to make six concentric circles today. Thank you, Shruti. Now I'm grabbing my pen. Oh, I'm sorry, my compass. And I'm going to make all the... Oops. <laughs> so I have been asked a question. Uh, that when we use compass and our paper is little thin so because of the compass tip the center of the paper kind of tear or get a lot of big hole inside in the middle of the paper so how to fix that let me just complete it and now I'm waiting for everybody and I'm giving that answer to that question so the question was again because we put the compass tip and it is pointed it goes inside the paper and it gives a big hole if the paper is thin so how to keep your paper safe not to tearing up and not to get that big hole so the answer is if you have any that masking tape so just cut a tiny masking tape once you find out the center stick on it and then use your compass over it so that masking tape will hold the tip of the compass and your paper will be saved and then you can take off the masking tape easily it will not tear your paper off so if you are working on a thinner paper you can use masking tape in the center awesome thank you alicia now We are not going to trace any of our, uh, you know, any of our uh, circle with the pen in this one. They all are our guidelines. So I hope everybody is done till there. Dimensions, Sneha, on the screen already dimensions have been written by Shruti and Alicia and still I'll repeat it for you. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 and 6.5 centimeters. And now I'm waiting for a few more seconds for everybody to catch up. So please write down in the chat when you guys are done. Show, 
send me thumbs up or done or uh, so that I will resume with you all. Thank you, Valerie. Awesome, Alicia. Thank you, Rabjot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, thank you, Roberta, for purchasing my book and liking it. And I got few emails also, few some of the uh, some of the participants who have purchased the book about their feedback, and they are really enjoying the book. So I'm feeling really happy uh, that you guys are liking it and supporting my work. So now we are going to use pencil for uh, drawing our today's main tangle, the focus tangle. That's the way box. As you see in this whole month, we are using all the Waybop style uh, mandalas. So for the first one, you see in between, this is our one centimeter. And this is the two centimeter. So in between two and three centimeter at every line, we are going to draw the seed. As you know, in the way bop, we always start with the seed. So don't worry, we are drawing with the pencil. We can easily fix if anything we need to make it big or small. One centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, Rahini. And now we need to join this into the here center. So maybe you can just use your eye and make the center point. Or maybe if you want, you can join this corner to corner. This is five centimeters to the last circle. And at two and a half centimeter, you can make this point. So, you know, I made this point just by looking my eye and this is what I got with measurement so if you want you can measure all of them and get the center point like this they all are five centimeters wide the last circle when you measure the last circle it is five centimeters and you can put the dot at two and a half circle that would be center point like this or maybe you can just use your eye and mark, get the center point so today i'm just using my ruler and you can see i just divided all these sections into half and if you join these lines i'm just drawing this line you see if you want you can just to get the just to divide them further Most of the time we do it freehand just by looking them and because this the small size so we can do it easily but this is one more way to do it a little bit more in the precision way and you can do this. Good morning Claudia. Hey Debra I received the book. Awesome. I hope you'll enjoy the book and it will give you some relaxing time coloring it or shading it. You'll find a lot of the uh, mandalas, uh, you, you may recognize them. Okay, now the next step. We are going to join our these two seed from this top. We'll leave one, again we'll join these two seed. Now 
and after that you see here this stop point so we will draw one our boundary it's coming here and it will join to the top the aura line Although we can draw directly with the pen, but it's good to draw with the pencil first. These kind of patterns. So if we mess up a little bit, we can easily fix it. And retracing is quicker, right? So we have worked on four seeds and we have made these four petals so far. Isn't it easy? Shall I start the next step? The next step is going to join our these two seeds now. So please look carefully. Let me bring it a little bit more closer. So that's why I'm drawing it with the pencil so that it becomes easy and you can easily fix it. First we drew eight seeds on all eight lines and now we joined them from the top and then drew this outer line. I'm trying to make it easy uh, and one step at a time so that you can draw it. Please go slow and just enjoy the process. Don't feel that lines are not absolutely parallel or uh, just keep drawing. Believe me, you can do it. After that, we are going to join our these two seeds from the bottom side. So, one seed from one petal, one seed from the other petal, from the corner. We are going to join it from this bottom, like this. And I am going to draw all this thing once again with the pen. So, if you are missing any step, you can see me that time again, okay? that's how we are going to join our these seeds alternatively and after that we are going to double line these like this so we are going to touch our these one centimeter circle and we will come all the way touching to this petal take your time draw slow And don't worry, once you are done drawing with the pencil, just take a break, look it a little further away. Any line if you want to fix, it's just the pencil you can erase and fix easily before you use pen over it. So now I'm waiting for everyone to catch up till here and no problem Kripa if you join late you can start from the beginning and still you can be with me throughout the chat and because the DVR is on in the 
uh, video so you can easily go back and start. Thank you, Rabjot. I'm waiting for 30 more seconds for everybody to catch up. And now we will con complete our this these four petals which we drew. You see, now we are going to join them here. And we are going to complete these lines. So now this petal is all complete. We are going to join them in between. So although we can draw this design directly with the pen, but I just want like we are a lot of people drawing together. So I would prefer that let's draw it with the pencil first. So if anyone mess up a little bit and in that way I will draw it twice so that you can see me draw the same thing twice. So let's see who all are drawing along with me. Write down one if you are drawing along with me and if you are just enjoying the video write down two. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Now, I would like you guys to grab your uh, compass again just one more time. And you see here where we made this line. And this is a half centimeter gap in between the circles. So we are going to draw a half centimeter circle like this. Oops. Before we start working in this section, let's have our this. So we just need these four circles here. So just draw these four circles. They are half centimeter wide. A half centimeter radius so they are one centimeter kind of diameter and now please look carefully this next step so we are going to bring this line like this and this line will come here and it is you see our this uh, six inch six centimeter line and six and a half centimeter so it will go all the way so first let's complete this one this will go all the way this and this will go so it's touching to our this corner line and touching to our six and a half centimeter and this is going to the six centimeter so that's how we can uh, kind of you know draw all of them with the pencil first No worries, we can easily fix. So it's coming little round, touching the corner, touching the 6.5 line, touching the circle and going this 
and joining the seed don't draw here i just i'm just showing you like this is the imaginary line the seed is the imaginary after the seed is the imaginary line here where this petal is and then it's coming round round all the way and then this is the parallel line which is which will take a turn at the six centimeter and join this i'm doing this again this i will draw this imaginary line here and then this touching and then same it's okay if they all are not looking similar once you are done drawing the hole it will look beautiful sure linda So these guidelines really help you you know where to start where to stop so that they all look quite similarish and still we are drawing with the hand so it's not they all cannot be absolutely same because that's the fun of the hand-drawn mandala and that's the beauty kind of i should say so Enjoy drawing. This is our way bob guys and this is basically the our main uh, tangle in this one. So if you want me to write down the name of this whole tangle which we just draw. It's called Weebok. And in this whole month, if you remember, we have we used this tangle. This one we did last Saturday. This one, last to last. So all these four, they all are on the base of the same theme. And the recording of all these three one is already available and they all are have these seeds in between and they are entangling with each other kind of so little variations but the theme is pretty much same and this is what we are doing today and this is what we are going to draw and now i'm happy with what i drew so far now i'm tracing all this with my micron 08 black pen so first i'm going to draw my these inner petals So this was the first step I'm using Micron 08 Pigma Sakura pen.
And now I'm drawing this inner line. Then I'm drawing the aura line of these. <laughs> What's your age? I think I'm old enough to draw these mandalas. What do you think? Now first I'm drawing these circles. Swans, they are looking like swan kinds because of these necks. This is a nice interpretation. things it's they are looking like kind of the swan you know two swans like kind of their uh, neck is going inside yeah you are absolutely right now i can see it you know uh, clearly when you said the swan thing oh i didn't draw the circle here Thank you, Padmaja. Yes, nice swan. So we, we can keep this name Swan Mandala. And the honor goes to Linda Feldman for giving the name. And now I'm connecting them from completing these petals. And here you go. So we are done drawing all these our Work. Now I'm using my razor to erase. 
so these extra lines actually we need these these inner lines so we can leave them like this but in between way up we can erase our extra lines be careful while using the eraser make sure that pen is the ink is well dried no need to erase these center lines because we are going to draw some of them we are going to draw over some of them so we can leave them I'm just clearing lines which is coming inside these our Weibo design. That's it. Not the outer ones. Outer ones we are going to do later once we are done drawing all the pattern. Now it's the time to clean up all these. okay so let's start from the center <laughs> it's more romantic <laughs> yes last time you said pretzel to this one i think this one you said uh, it's looking pretzel to you this one right valerie i remember oh, that was also interesting so okay let's First, complete our this center, but the center area. So for this one, uh, we are going to draw this double line in our these. four side. And we are going to divide it into four equal parts like this. And we are just filling them with the shape they are left over with. And that's beautiful. We are just going to leave it like that as of now. Now we are going to work in our this beautiful way bop. So first thing we are going to draw in these petals. We are going to make one tiny double line. And I didn't change my pen. If you want you can change your pen to the thinner tip. If you want you can keep the same tip the one you are using right now. I didn't change, I am still using the Micron 08. And I am going to do this Aura line. Draw slow. If you find this way too difficult, you can leave the aura linings, okay? Thank you, Pratibha.
Okay. Now, please look carefully. Here in this one, we are going to draw some beautiful these tiny little half moons and the name of this tangle is the crescent moon which we are drawing right now inside the wave up the crescent moon which we are drawing right now on the outer tangle outer line of the wave up Draw this D shape or the half moon shape and fill these little tiny pies. And then give them one or a line. Like this. gold good leaf uh, you can try through amazon.com i'm not sure if you can order uh, through amazon.com amazon.com link is there uh, at my website and at, at the facebook page so you can try if uh, you can get it because amazon has not started their print on demand in India so far and we are going to repeat the same thing in all four petals with this crescent moon tangle Now the aura line. I have been asked from a lot of participants to keep some uh, sessions easy. So my whole next month plan on Fridays uh, are, uh, you know, on the big paper like the Zentangle inspired art and they are kind of very easy. You see, these are the ones which we are going to do on the coming Friday session in the next month and they all are very easy so uh, comparatively so i hope whoever is looking for the easy version of the art session can join me on fridays next month and next saturday who is going to write let's see if who remember what's on the next saturday what's our plan on next saturday that's really special 
थैंक यू प्रप्रीत Hi everyone, I'm on the other side. Uh, sorry, I'm a little late today, uh, but I'm here in the chat now, so I will be taking your questions back to Nidhi. Thank you. Welcome, Ajay. the color one you you all remember that so get ready with your supplies supplies are a little different than every day every saturday mandalas it's a 9 inch square paper we need we need lot of color pencils we need a golden pen golden color or the golden pen to make dots and if you have any questions you can ask me on facebook on that event or on the discord or on whatsapp about the next week's mandala that's the colored mandala the peacock mandala which we are going to draw and i'm on my last petal now yes prakriti these live sessions are all saved on my youtube channel all my past live session recordings are all saved on my youtube channel every friday we see each other on my hindi channel and we have i have done eight live sessions on that hindi channel so far eight mandalas and this one in this channel where you are right now I started all these live sessions around a year ago more than a year ago when this quarantine thing started so everyone is kind of stuck at home so then I planned to start something free classes online and I got so much love and appreciation and everyone asked me to continue it so I'm continuing it since then and all the live session recordings are there you can see all the past live session recordings in the draw with me playlist there are a lot of various style of the sessions then tingles and doodle mandala zendala spiral art but they all are the pattern drawing they all are kind of the art therapy sessions you i'm done with this beautiful these four petals and now thank you laura and now we are going to work in our these four swans so in this swans again we are going to draw the aura lines so we are not going to draw any pattern inside them we are going to keep them like just empty but aura lines each side if you want you can use your thin pen to draw the aura line that would be little easier
draw slow don't hurry up take your time For those of you that are new with us today, uh, we have our entire monthly session schedule listed on our website. Uh, the link is pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, if you go to the website, uh, you will also get an option to add the calendar to your cell phone. So you'll get notified every time we have a session and you will be able to look up for the forthcoming schedules along with the sessions for those links. That's awesome, Ajay. So this is the last month of the June and whole July calendar is already up. It's at my website as well as there is a post in the Facebook also. And now I'm done with the two of these swan things. And now this last set to draw the aura lines at each side. Take your time, enjoy the process. Ooh, we are done with our all these four sets and now we are going to work inside our these four petals so inside our four these petals i'm just making it a little closer here and we are going to draw the pattern mocha we have used the mocha in fold pattern a lot if you see how we draw that so like if you remember we draw like this one petal going at one side and the other is coming to this side inside so this is a bigger version of the mocha and fold one pod which we are going to draw inside of these petals so first we are going to draw this tiny you know circle thing here and over the circle we are going to draw our mocha pattern you see it's touching all the side so try to occupy all the space as much as you can Uh, 
uh, Nidhi, what's the size of the pen that you're using right now? That's a question from so, Samira. Hi, Samira. I'm still using the same pen, Micron 08. I didn't change my pen so far. But if you want for the mukas or for these inner lines, you can use little thinner tip pen. That would work beautifully if you use the thinner tip pen. And now in, we are going to draw the same mocha pattern in all four. First serve, we are going to draw the circle in the base. This is the first side. This is what we are drawing. Here you go. And I'm repeating the same thing in all our four, these beautiful petals where we draw our crescent moon inside not in the swan one there we'll do something else and now we'll fill this rest of the place with the lot of tiny tipples tiny circles If you want you can fill this whole space but and if you want you can use tiny tip thin, thin tip pen also in this one draw very very tiny tiny circles in between You can call them orbs or tipples or circles. These are our four petals. Aren't they looking beautiful? After these, we are going to work in these eight seeds and we are just going to give little flicking at the both sides. That's it. Nothing else. Little flicking at the both sides in the seeds.
please do these little tiny flickings from the both corners of the seeds and we are done with the seed and now it's the time to draw in these swan ones i'm waiting for everybody for a few seconds to catch up to here and then let's start working in our this beautiful swan shape inside before we start the swan shape i really want to give uh you know one outline to our this petal and don't draw over the circle okay don't draw over the circle please if you want you can draw this circle first like this so that we won't do that mistake we can draw these circle lines with the compass also but right now i'm finding this one easier and quicker We use Weibop, Crescent Moon, Mooka and Tipple so far and now we are doing double lining like this you see here so we have to stop where the circle is that's why I drew the circle first. Is it better? So I just drew the circle and then these two aura lines at each side of these petals. And after these aura lines, we are going to catch these aura lines inside of our this swan thing. But we are not going to draw over these lines. Okay, so be careful. Like this. So draw in the air and then continue. now we have this beautiful space inside where we are going to draw our uh, flickings and dots so we are going to do a lot of stippling here inside a lot of dots inside of this diamondish base and it's getting lighter as it's coming up and here we are going to do a lot of flicking coming from the circle we are going to work in the circle later so 
So flicking and stippling both together. Stippling in the base. And then flicking from the top. Maybe I'll do a little bit more stippling. And then there. This is the last one. So when you are doing the flicking, keep your pen absolutely straight, 90 degree angle. Don't keep it slanted because if you keep it slanted and you make, you might get these tails. If you get straight, you will not get tails. So tails are not really good and they will not look beautiful. So make the dots without the tail, just the dots and you will get beautiful dots. If you keep your pen absolutely 90 degree to your paper, absolutely perpendicular to your paper. And now it's the time to fill our these outer spaces. Is everybody ready here? Do you guys want me to wait for a few seconds? I think let's 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 wait a couple. Uh, maybe half a minute or so. Okay, I'm waiting for everybody and to catch uh, up till if here. If everybody can write on the chat when they're done, good to go. That will be helpful. Please send your thumbs up. Thank you, Rabjot. Beautiful. So first we are going to work these inside neck part, kind of the swans. So uh, please look carefully. We are going to draw kind of aura lines, but they are not perfectly parallel, but they are joining this point to this base point like this curve is going like this. So draw these curvy parallel lines. They can be one, two, three based on the space, based on the curve. You have, I'm here drawing three lines and three lines are kind of enough to give this beautiful dimension to the shape. And I'm repeating this on all eight areas these are all eight beautiful curves 
and now whatever the leftover area is we are going to draw that shape in the leftover areas whatever left of leftover area is please draw one or a line on outside and get one closed shape there And in these lines, we are just going to draw these hatchings. Both side. These hatching lines, parallel straight lines. And then a little horizontal line on the corners. Let's wait after the step, Nidhi. I think some people are still trying to catch up. Sure, Ajay. Again, if you want, you can use little thinner tip pen for drawing this, for drawing these hatching lines. Uh, Nidhi, can you bring the camera closer to the hatching that you're doing? It'll be a little clearer to see, I guess. They're kind of parallel straight line. Look carefully what I'm doing now. If I'm going to do it slow, very, very slow in this one. And now we are just left with our these circles and the boundary. And I'm going to fill this little inner sections. So in our these circles, we are going to draw a dot in the center and then just circles all around them. And I'm going to fill the rest of the area. So if you have a white pen, you can use white pen to draw these circles and you know make them a little bit more perfect.
So Nabea was asking for this to be explained once again. I'm not sure if she's talking about the circles, Nidhi. So for the circles, they are kind of like these circles. I just made a dot in the center and then five circles around them. One, two, three, four and five and then I fill the rest of the area. That's all I did. And then I'm just drawing these kind of aura line to these circles. Uh, awesome. Uh, can we take about a 30 second pause? And uh, if, if uh, everyone can write in the chat if they are done up till this step. Sure. Can you guys please write down in the chat when you guys are done with this step? Thank you, Rabjot. So as I always say, once you guys are done, take a picture of it and share your artwork with me. So don't forget to share your artwork with me. I'm going to make a post at the Facebook page and you can share there and you can see all other participants artwork also there. Uh, for people that need a little more time or want to see some of the steps again, uh, please remember we have the DVR enabled. Uh, you can pause the live video, you can even go back, uh, watch a certain step one more time. Uh, so that will also help us keep the pace for everybody else in the session. Thank you. And now we are still left with one more drawing part and then we'll do the shading together. So while I'm waiting, I'm just erasing these extra lines and while I'm waiting, I just want to remind you guys, if you have not subscribed the channel, please go and subscribe the channel. Subscribing channel is absolutely free for you and you can help me growing my channel. If you have not clicked the thumbs up button so far, please Click on the thumbs up button and tomorrow we'll see each other the same place for the Zentangle Art Session. In the Zentangle Art Session, we need a three and a half inch square tile, the smaller tile. I'm going to work on a three and a half inch square tile. If you want to work on a bigger tile, you are more than welcome. You can use bigger tip pen and work on a bigger tile. And next Saturday, we need a 9 inch square paper for the colorful mandala. That's the peacock mandala we are going to do. This is the one which we are going to do next Saturday. This is the bigger size. It's a 9 inch square. So please be prepared with your supplies for this. And now it's the time to draw our last pattern here and the last oh before that we just we are just drawing these tiny you know circles we call them perf this technique so these are just tiny circles on the edges to give them some character Awesome. And now where our these petals are joining, we are just going to draw a tiny circle which is not touching either side and then these curvy lines at each side.
just a very simple C stroke kind of and they are going in the opposite direction kind of this this circle in the center is echoing at the both side thank you Shikha And this is the last section, drawing this echoing circle. There you go and drawing part is done and I'm so happy to see uh, this beautiful swan mandala you can say and now I'm waiting for a few seconds to start the shading and I'm taking a picture of it without the shading and now I will work on the shading part so for the shading we need a pencil i'm using my this mechanical pencil it is it has a uh, 2 mm size lead and so shall i start the shading now so for the shading let's i'm just first working in these four petals which are which have the crescent moon so wherever they are kind of you know going inside so near that I'm just laying down graphite alongside so that it creates some shadow of going over and under I was thinking before the session that this this uh, uh, pattern might take some extra time and I really need to finish it in the time. Will I be able to do it or not? But you guys are rocking and doing so well so I could finish it in the time. So I'm so happy about it. And little shading here around these crescent moon pies Now I'm blending it. So first I will make sure that it will not go in that double line.
so what can the participants do if they do not happen to have a torti on so if you don't have torti on you can use just give me a you can use these kind of q tips you know so if you don't have torti on you can use q tip and you can just blend with the q tip like this and there are the blending stumps or otherwise you can use tissue papers you know you can just fold the tissue paper and make them little tiny uh, piece folding that like tiny tiny these kind of tip with the tissue paper and then you can you use that so as you can see the difference between all three petals and this one the one i have been shaded so far so i'm going to repeat the same thing in all three of them so this time i'm going to lay down the graphite in all three of them and then we'll shade them together blend them together This one. Is there any other questions, Ajay? So just let me know. Uh, we just had a question from Navia. Uh, she apparently does not have pen the kind of pencil that you're using. And uh, she was asking for recommendations. So I just said on the chat that she can probably use any pencil. We need to correct yes you are absolutely right Ajay you can use any pencil you know the pencil which kids use in their school works absolutely perfect in that case and I actually prefer using uh, this pencil because you know very less of the sharpening and uh, so uh, because otherwise my pencils you know they keep getting smaller smaller I, I love using these Prismacolor Ebony pencils and now most of all pencils are of this size so I just shifted to this one otherwise Prismacolor Ebony pencils are also good they are pretty dark you can use any graphite pencil any school pencil they all work very well you can use whatever pencil you have at home I prefer using mechanical pencil for the writings for the drawings for the guidelines my this mechanical pencil this is 0.5 mm lead for all the shading this one this is 2 mm lead and the lead number is 4b in this one
Keep repeating the same thing in the shading and you will see once you shade your work it looks kind of complete and perfect. Shading brings life to your pattern drawing. And in my mandala art book also I gave an option to just shade also. If you don't want to color you can just shade. Maybe you can shade and color combine both. Or maybe you can just color so whatever gives you relaxation you know the, that book is mainly for the relaxation for fun so whatever gives you relaxation you can do that thing in that book and And the best part is, you know, shading is never enough. Like you keep looking at it, something, and then you still find something. Oh, you want to put a little bit shading here or there, or a little bit more blending here. So you keep on looking and you will find some or the other place to fix or to work more. And now here in the center part where we drew our these lines Okay, and now we are going to work in these stippling part. So, in these stippling part, we are going to shade near the stippling. As well as we are going to shade over these flicking in a flicking style. So we are going to sh blend also them in the flicking style and here we are just going to give a little dark to light shading. Once you lay down graphite little darker also over the stippling and the flicking still it shows up those all stipplings and flicking shows up and they give beautiful value to your you know that space. And after that, we are going to shade our these inner lines and be careful. We are not going to shade inside of these, you know, parallel lines of that swan area, which we are talking about that neck, neck area. We are just going to shade those inner aura lines. Those are the curvy aura lines.
Oh, I'm... Um, these are eight times. I did it four, ta four times and I thought I'm done. These are at the both side of these swans. Just be careful. Don't go inside the top lines. Just stay inside. I'm really enjoying drawing this. I hope everyone is enjoying drawing this along with me. And now we are going to just shade our these edging lines and these borders at both side and I'm going to do this both things together and this is our last shading and after that we are going to sign it and write down the date It's a beautiful sunny day out here. It's the Saturday morning here. I'm not sure if Nidhi mentioned that earlier in the session today, uh, but we do have YouTube memberships that we have launched as well. Uh, from Oak membership onwards, uh, there are certain sessions that are available for members only. Uh, so if you would like to draw some colorful mandalas and tangles, we have a bunch of videos there. So the same videos that we have on Patreon as well, so you could support us uh, from either Patreon or from YouTube memberships. Just next to the subscribe button on YouTube, you would also see the join button. Uh, which will enable you to uh, join us as a member and support us as well. Thank you. Yes, Ajay, thank you for reminding me and I didn't tell about this. So all the videos which are available on Patreon are now all available on my YouTube members. Ajay, is it Oak? On Oak upwards? Uh, Yes. 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 So this is Oak membership upwards. So that is equivalent to Patreon. You can support me through there or support me from the Patreon and you can unlock all those sessions. And I have few of my supporters who join me on the Tulip band. So as a thank you, I'm going to give you also one video. All of you have supported me. But rest all videos will be available at Oak members. That is equivalent to the Patreon. So thank you for supporting me in either way. Whatever way you want, you can. And that's all. How is it looking guys? I'm really liking it. And... I'm feeling very satisfied and we can work a lot in this. We can make the boundaries a little bit more darker and a little bit more, you know, uh, with the little thicker pen or with the compass, maybe white pen to draw, to correct some circles or something. So that's all. And now I'm just signing this. And what is today's date? 26th. 
and time to say goodbye i really enjoyed working with you all thank you everyone for joining me i'm going to take a picture of it and putting it on the facebook and you guys can post your work there with me and bye bye see you tomorrow in the zentangle art session next friday we are going to draw the tulip pattern next saturday we are going to draw the peacock big size mandala colorful mandala and every sunday for the zentangle art session bye bye